I'm at the Niagara Launch Center in Welland, and today a partnership was announced that will lead to new additions for the Niagara Safety Village. How this came about, and I hate to bring it up, when the village was damaged two years ago, the Welland Kiwanis approached me about giving us some financial support to do repair work. And then from there, um, it, they recognized that it's a, a good sponsorship supporting our schools. So the Welland Club called together St. Catharines Niagara Falls Stanford Clubs and we met at the village and they decided that they would like to support the Safety Village and put a, put a building in. So they did approach me uh, and so it, it, uh, it came to be and here we are. The project has already been designed and costed out by the students, with construction of the buildings being done through the spring. Well, it's, I think it's a great opportunity for our students to get involved in community projects. So we build commun community partnerships where we uh, build buildings all over uh, the region. So this project is beneficial for our students rather than to bring someone else in so they get the opportunity to do it. Also that they, our students also went, m many of our students went to Safety Village to do their uh, road training, safety training. It's really cool. Yeah, I get to get back to the community. Yeah, I've uh, been in the Safety Village a lot of times, so it's nice to go back there and actually build something, contribute to it. So. Well, first, um, I worked with my teacher, and we just did some planning, and then we got the materials in, how big the building was actually going to be, both on the library and the hospital. And then from there, we just went through wood, materials, brick, what we're going to use, windows, um, steel studs instead of wood, that kind of stuff. The costs for the new village buildings have been split equally between the three Niagara Region Kiwanis Clubs, St. Catharines, Welland, and Niagara Falls. And it provides their students with opportunities to develop their trades and learning, so, and then also... Uh, the Niagara Catholic School Board, they send their young children to the Safety Village. So it's a win-win situation for everybody. It's a win for the Qantas Clubs because it allows us to meet our objectives with respect to children as a regional project. Uh, helps the Safety Village because it helps them to earn monies and we uh, contribute their costs and that promotes their program. And obviously it helps the, the Catholic School Board, first of all, allowing the children to develop trades and also they send their children to the uh, Safety Village as uh, the part of the safety program. So we think it's a win-win-win situation for everybody. It was so important, and the Kiwanis agreed, uh, to put something in that does relate to a, to a village. And there was no hospital, there was no library. Um, the students, the teachers, the parents coming in, they recognize the buildings, and of course Kiwanis will be recognized um, for investing in, into the Safety Village. But it, the as you know, we have McDonald's and Tim Hortons. Of course, that's the first thing the, the kids spot. We have McDonald's. And so it, it just brings it together uh, into a village that, as we know with our hospitals and the changes going on, and all of our communities have libraries. So it's two buildings that the students will recognize. A ribbon cutting ceremony is expected to take place in May. And for more updates, you can visit NiagaraSafetyVillage.com. Reporting for Your TV Niagara, I'm Dylan Beanhoff.